everyone. We're back at it. We are here today, back with the Icon and the Jaw Crushers, about to crush all that material we got from the blue chip mine. If you didn't see the last video, uh, Dad and I were up at the blue chip mine collecting a whole bunch of ore samples from the seam where we could see the visible gold in quartz. Today, we are gonna start crushing it and seeing how much gold there actually was. We're actually gonna weigh the samples and figure out how much was there, do some scientific analysis of that gold bearing quartz vein. So, enjoy. Now, some of the changes we've made to the system since uh, our last run, we've extended the discharge to get it a long ways away from us. We've actually built up a little spot for the safety sluice. This is just a little sluice to, for us to make sure we're not losing any gold. It won't actually capture much gold, but it gives us a good idea if we have done something wrong and we're losing any gold. Then we are capturing our tailings in some buckets that we can easily swap out, and then funneling our water back to the tailings pond so we don't make such a mess of the ground. Dad is up there right now, creating a bit of a shelf for us to put our material on, our buckets up on, and we can actually dump the buckets onto that shelf and just scoop them into the jaw crusher easier. So we don't have to bend over and scoop hand, handful by handful. It'll just be an easier way to feed the jaw crusher. Now another change we made, if you watched the last video, we had this hose here feeding water into the hopper, which worked really well, except for the fact that the hose kept coming out and spraying me with water. And we found actually that um, we were constantly sort of picking the, the gravel out of here just to make sure it fell and, and flowed nicely the stuff that came out of the, the jaw crusher. What we've changed is we've moved the hose to come in oop, into that big dark hole in there. It comes in the back of the chute actually. So water flows down this chute, carrying the material down and in. It's held in place nicely so it's not spraying water all over me. And it's helping feed the material in nicely. It's not going through the jaw crusher. We don't have water going through the whole system. We just have it going through the discharge. So the stuff that's already been crushed, we add water to it there. It flows down, falls into the impactor. Impactor crushes it all up, feeds it down to the icon. Icon does its thing, separates the gold, and we're all happy. That seemed to work really well for us. That being said, we seem to have the system working really nice and smoothly. This run should, <laughs> should go easily. So here we are, nice little shelf where we can set the buckets, you can tip them over, we can just dump it out into this sort of little trough here, and then slowly, just by hand, as we need to, push it into this little hole, which will feed it into the jaw crusher. Let's see, looks like it'll work nicely. We'll try it. We can always modify it, because it's just, you know, scrap wood slapped together. I think we might be ready to go. So I brought my household scale here, just the bathroom scale, and I've weighed up the rocks. We have five, six buckets of rocks, and it came out, once I've weighed them all up and added it together, to 188 pounds of rocks. But that gives us a good starting point to do our calculations once we're done, when we find out how much gold we have. I'm trying something new today. I'm trying my point of view video glasses, so I can sit and take video of what I see. Hopefully I'm taking video of a camera right now. I hope. Never used them before. So just in case the video glasses aren't doing it, we've got another camera going too. We are just about to get started. Yeah, just started up the impact mill. I need to get my ear protection on. Damn it, no! So we're setting up the machine here. I'm using video glasses. Video glasses.
here we are, panning out the concentrate out of the icon. Right My now. son has me bleeding again. It's all his fault, of course. I have no idea what he's looking for. I'm just looking to see what the material looks like that we get out of the icon. Lots of quartz there, of yep. course, because we've been crushing pure quartz. Now, I would like a finer crush, so I've asked the manufacturer to make me a finer grate that won't plug up. So he's making a special grate for me for the, for the impact mill that's finer with some relief so it won't plug. And then we're going to see if that will crush things down finer. And actually, today I'm keeping all of my tailings from this run because we're going to run them through with the finer grate when I get it here and see what kind of gold was still tied up in those little quartz rocks. The heavy's coming out the back there. Yeah, we could have a lot in here. A lot of <laughs> pyrites and arsenopyrite and pyrotite and all of those things that are heavy. Tellurides. Gold, of course. When you went down and checked on the tailings bin, was it full yet or was it? The one I switched out was yep. only half full. Okay. So it didn't look like we. Yeah, but your sluice is too flat. Oh, was it building up? Yeah, it was filling up. Okay, I didn't worry about doing anything about it because I knew we were going to redo all that tailing buckets. So. Okay. We can modify that very easily. Oh yeah, two screws and drop it. Right. Four screws and drop it. No. I'm you used I, you I'm used you. four screws. <laughs> if it was you, you would have twelve in each side. <laughs> Don't mind the odd little cloud coming by. Yeah, that sun is hot. Down. Where's Alex? In the truck? Oh, probably sleeping in the truck. Typical teenager. Alex! That didn't work. No, he's asleep. Alex! Maybe the bear's got him. As long as he didn't get my sandwich. I know he broke into the chips already. I'm not surprised at that. <laughs> Alex! Can you beep the horn from here? Or you leave the keys in it. <laughs> get your keys in your pocket? Yeah. Put on the panic alarm. Look at all the silvery stuff. I'm still filming, is that okay? Yeah, that's yeah, good. Get, that's good. You get batteries? That, uh, oh, hopefully. And we'll take all of these pyrites and go smelt them all down to see how much gold is Hiding left that. trapped mm -hmm. in them. But that's next week. Next week is all about smelting. I know I promised smelting videos in the spring and it's already summer, but we will get you your smelting videos, compelling videos, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm just leave leave it at that because I don't want to lose any much gold. Let's see what we got. What do I see? Nothing yet. Oh, oh, I see lots of gold starting to show yeah. up at that top edge. Oops, I just brought down too much over here. I see gold coming down with it. Oh, that's what you need. Right, Sam, show yeah. it. Oh, look at all the gold. <laughs> look at it all. Can I see that? See the band oh, right I left. I left this thing off. Let's get this thing going. How do I get my uh, glasses going? Uh, I think that's on. I think that's recording. Let's see. 
Yep, it looks like it's recording. Okay, now we're starting to see the gold. Don't get too close though, that camera will get all blurry. So all the gold up there. We're starting to see pieces cut floating back. Chunks of gold coming back. Oh, look at, that. look at the size of that one. Oh, it's two, that's why it looks so big. Two pieces there. All that microscopic fine gold. Chunky stuff. More chunky stuff. Oh, lots of it. And the only way to get numbers for this so it's going to be to smelt it into a... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get actual one. weight numbers until we do the smelting video. Because yeah. right now we can get uh, sort of how much we started with. We can talk about sort of how much stuff I can separate off there, but there's going to be lots in this stuff still. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at it all. All through here still. So really we need to... Oh, there's a big chunk. Two big chunks. Really, we need to smelt this stuff as is. There's gonna be some smelly roasting too to get that. Oh yeah, the roasting of this is gonna stink. This is loaded with gold everywhere through yeah. it. All right, put that in a bucket so we can smelt it. Okay. Let's move on. Move on. The good stuff, the good shots of this will be when we smelt it out. Look at that piece right there. Oh, another chunky piece. It's everywhere. We gotta get you some medicine. Medicine for my gold fever? Yeah, that's the one. There are pieces everywhere through this. Oh, let's bring it all into one side one more time. And push it into a ball. <laughs> gold poisoning in your fingertips. Yeah, that's the arsenic poison I'm more worried yeah, about. Yeah, there's more likely. <laughs> gold. Okay, let's see that camera. I'm going to take a picture of that. Not that that's much of the gold. The gold. And that's just something I pushed together there. There's lots and lots down through, all through the black here. I guess it's not black, it's kind of gray. But there's specks everywhere. But you don't get to figure out how much we have until we smelt it all. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. So again, another video playing with the icon and the crushers. And having fun finding gold. Thank you to all my patrons out there for supporting me in my endeavors. There's a link at the end of this video if you'd like to help support me through Patreon. If you enjoy these videos, please give the video a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, do so. If you do subscribe, make sure you click that bell icon so you get notifications. I'd love to hear your comments. I have been responding to every one of them right away. So please comment and I will send you something back right away. Thank you for watching my videos. And until the next one, which should be soon. Bye! Why is there a oh, oh, hi. Goodbye. <laughs> I was on to the next subject. <laughs>